The 17th Amendment was passed by Congress in 1912 and ratified by the states in 1913. The 17th Amendment changed a portion of Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution. The 17th Amendment says, The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state, elected by the people thereof, for six years, and each senator shall have one vote. The electors in each state shall have the qualifications requisite for electors of the most numerous branch of the state legislatures. When vacancies happen in the representation of any state in the Senate, the executive authority of such state shall issue writs of election to fill such vacancies, provided that the legislature of any state may empower the executive thereof to make temporary appointments until the people fill the vacancies by election as the legislature may direct. Simply stated, this amendment changed the process of electing senators, taking it out of the hands of state legislatures and placing it into the hands of voters in each state. Each state is granted two senators who serve six-year terms. The 17th Amendment was part of the package of amendments pushed by the progressives. Debates over this amendment sounded the case for direct democracy and freeing the Senate from the influence of corrupt state legislatures.